All right, next up on the chopping block is the uh, Kodak Play Sport. This is the ZX5. Um, a lot of people ask, you know, how I like this particular camera. Well, let's put it this way. It's not a GoPro, which is good, and it's bad. Um, it's good because it's got different ergonomics. Um, you know, it, it, it does what I need it to do when I'm outside, indoors. Not such a great camera. It's waterproof. It's shockproof. It's got a big LCD screen built in. GoPros do not. GoPros are also 170 degree angle lenses, um, unless you have the black or the silver, the newer threes. But even then, on narrow, you're still looking at like, I don't know, what is it, a 100, 100 degree lens? Um, this particular camera I'm having issues with. So as of lately, it likes to go blue, completely blue. Like it's losing the red channels in it, which is not good. Um, and it's got some floating pixels. So if I zoom in anything other than fully wide, um, I start getting a floating pixels that are irritating um, and basically make the, make the video worthless. I took this out just yesterday, had some issues with it. I'm not too, not too thrilled. This is an older one. I've had it for a couple of years. Um, they are no longer being continued by Kodak. So finding replacements, um, accessories, all that is pretty much uh, a no-go. You have to make your own accessories. Here's my accessory. That's it. One carbiner. And I just clip this onto my belt loop and go to town. When I need it, I have to disconnect it and go to town. I can use the uh, tripod mount for the GoPro in the bottom. Strap that onto something and hang it. Put it on a chest mount. But it's really not that much. Uh, it's really not worth it, in my opinion. The uh, other thing it's important to note, these little... Oh, see, look at that. It's locked up again. In order to get the SD card out, you have to open up these doors. And the problem is, when you take them out in the salt water, they get stuck. If they get stuck in this position, you're in trouble. If they're stuck when this thing is, this flap is open, you can actually unscrew this, clean it out, put it back on, and you're good to go again. Um, and of course, there's two. So, this one I just got open. See? It's like a wing that comes off. Now over time, those seals break off. The screws that you see are what you need to take off and clean. Um, everything's in. See, even the seals must be getting worn because there's sand getting in there now. And that's, that's not good. So I'm going to have to look at getting a new waterproof type camera. People are saying the Olympus has a good one out. Uh, I know there's some some uh, issues with those as well, but this is what I have. This is only a hundred bucks when I got it, and I think I got this from B and H Photo Video or something like that. So, in the end, it was a good camera. I'm probably gonna retire it soon. Um, you know, it was strictly an outdoor camera anyway. I'll give it a go a couple more times and see what happens. But other than that, I think this one's going to be heading out. So, all right. That's that one. Until next time.